Welcome, whippersnappers. This is Gramps, and you are looking at Shapes. This is the original Shapes game. You've seen on my channel that I have some Shapes 2, but there were requests to go back and play Shapes 1, which I did play. I loved it. Tons of fun. There's only three achievements I don't have. Two of them are time-based. You have to get to level 12 uh, within 60 minutes or 30 minutes. One of them is to not use a reversing uh, a rotator. So we're going to try to get an achievement. It won't be today, uh, but you can't use a reversing rotator until uh, level 14. So we're going to play through this and just see where we go. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. Please give me a like. Uh, it really helps, as you know. I'm not you know, telling you anything you don't know. Uh, a couple of things. I am in dark mode. Uh, it seems to be it's a little easier to look at, I think. And as I said, this is sh shapes, uh, shapes with a Z. And this is very similar to the game you would play if you were at shapes.io, uh, which you can play for free. That said, this game that I'm playing from Steam is, it's like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. I mean, come on. Go wild. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Um, so I'm going to be, like I said, I'm not setting any land speed records here. I'm going to take my time and really try to explain to you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And also, I'll talk about some of the differences between this and Shapes 2. Uh, Shapes 2 is going to release this year, and we're, I'm really looking forward to it. It is super duper cool. If you haven't seen it, please check out my videos on that. Okay, so this is the first level. What the goal of this game is, is to deliver to this. This is the hub right here. Burr, burr. That is the hub. And we want to get as many items in here as possible. And items can be any number of things. It can be shapes. There are shapes. There are colors. And sometimes we apply those colors to shapes. And as you can see, as we zoom out, there are other shapes besides circles and squares. There are funky shapes. There are windmills, there are pointy bits, there are circles with squares, squares with pointy bits. There's all sorts of things. You know, I'm, you can just see I'm zoomed out here. Um, <laughs> there is a variety. So as we go through this, different tools will unlock. I think it's like up to, I can't even remember now. It's been a long time since I played this, so it might be a little rusty, but we're still going to have a good time. So this starts off very easily. All we need to do is deliver 30 circles to the hub. And we only have two tools right now. We have an extractor and we have a belt. Right here, uh, you can see a tutorial, and this is telling us exactly what we need to do. And you can count these from left to right, one, two, three, four. So if I hit four, boom, there's the extractor. Oops. <laughs> so you drag them out there and then one. So that's going to start delivering these guys right into the hub. Now in shapes two, you can merge belts automatically. In shapes, you cannot. So we are sort of at the mercy here. And let's take a cut from here and here and here. So we're just basically tossing a bunch of these in. I should also point out that I'm not going to be making the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate efficient builds, but we will do what we can. Okay. So just like that, level one is completed and we have unlocked a new tool. This tool is called the cutter. It's going to cut shapes in half from top to bottom, regardless of its orientation. And if we have waste, then it's going to stall. So here's the cutter on number five. And we can choppy chop there. So now 
we're not using this extractor. We're only using one extractor. Now you see we get two different shapes cutting off here. We get a left half and a right half. This only wants the left half, unlike shapes two. Shapes two doesn't care. Both of these shapes would, would qualify. But we can take the trash can, pop it in there, oops, and then we can send the rest up this way. So now we're only going to get left halves. Okay. You can also hit Q and pull up a, uh, you know, get a, a, a picker. It's a picker tool. And let's just do this. Oops. Don't want to do that. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we need to deliver 40 of these. Now, the other thing is eventually we're going to start needing to bank shapes. We're going to want to keep them, uh, just keep a supply of these flowing in. And we will cover that when we get to it. So we're almost there, 33 out of 40. So we're good. Next, I think we're going to need some square type shapes. Yay. Yes, right here it says, do not destroy your existing factory. You'll need all those shapes later to unlock upgrades. Well, some might get destroyed, but we're also going to um, rebuild things and make them more optimum. So for example, sending just pure circles in is going to give us a speed upgrade on our belts distributor and tunnels. Uh, if we toss in 300 square shapes, it's going to give us a bonus a speed upgrade from 1 to 1.5 for extraction. These star shapes are going to help us with cutting, rotating, and stacking. And then uh, a right side square blue will give us mixing and painting upgrades. We can't do that one yet, but we can do these. So let's do that. So here's our next task here is that we need um, we need plain squares to unlock a balancer. So I'm just going to drag across here. Holding down the shift key helps you lock things into 90 degree angles. I'm just going to toss a bunch of these in here. OK. While that's going, oops, cancel, we'll deal with that later. I'm going to come out here. Here's a uh, some square shapes. And I'm just going to drag a bunch of those out. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do this, though. So what I do sometimes, too, is I drag it the wrong way. Oh just so I, I know where I'm headed, but I think we're okay here. All right, so now we can do balancers. Drag this over here, boom, boom. That's going to start funneling those star shapes. Now, to uh, optimize this, we're going to grab those balancers, spin it around, boom, boom, boom. Now we're getting output from four instead of just one. And just delete those. Don't need to delete them, but yeah. I like to keep things cleaned up a little bit. And while we're doing this, we're going to do the same over here. And delete this, and this, and this, and this. OK. So that's going to get those guys all flowing in. Now we also need to just get some circles flowing in. So let's, oops, let's do that here. Again, this is a real simple balancer, just four to one. And so we're going to toss those in. Okay. Excellent. Now it wants us to send right halves in, and that's going to unlock rotating. So let's do this. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Bring these guys up here. And let's grab two cutters. We'll grab one there and one here. 
And which one do we want? Right. Okay, so. Ah. <laughs> so I'm just for now going to kill the left. And then we'll put that there. Boom, boom. Easy. And bring it and feed it right in there. So that's bringing a bunch of these right halves in. And again, you know, not not built to exact proportions, not built to ratio, any of that stuff. It's just doing what it's doing. Uh, I'm going to kill this, do that, and let's see. Okay, so up here with this star, we can see our upgrades. So clicking that tells us the upgrades we're looking for are circles, squares, stars, and these guys. So if I hit this, it's going to upgrade our belts to 1.5. And this is going to upgrade our extraction to 1.5. So now to get up to the next upgrade of 2, we're going to need regular circles plus bottom halves of circles. And uh, for the extraction, we're going to need regular squares. That's why we're still feeding them in. And we're going to need top right quarters of circles. That's why they say they don't want, you know, it's not a good idea to remove things. And now we've hit level four. We've got a rotator. Rotate shapes clockwise by 90 degrees. And we've got some key bindings here. So you can, of course, adjust those. Excellent. So I'm not worried about this because we don't need uh, we don't need those half circle shapes. Uh, why? <laughs> of course, right as I say that, I realize, hey, we need those half circle shapes. So I'm going to do this. Boom, be doom. Oops. Okay. So let's pull these out and see what we got. So what we want is a top half of a circle. So this gives us a bottom half, a right half, and that should be a top half. Yep, see it right here. Now in this one, we just need one. So we'll do the same here. And again, our uh, to get our achievement, I can only use these clock wise ones. If we had a counterclockwise, we could put it here. We don't have those yet, but if we had one, we could put it here. But if we use one of those before level 14, we are not going to get our achievement. And you know, if you're not getting achievements, are you even, are you even playing video games? I mean, come on. Excellent. So it's ugly, but we're getting a chunk of these in. And again, we could uh, extend it and get another one up here. We're going to need 170 of those. So you see, the numbers are getting bigger. Uh, as a heads up, eventually, you don't have numbers you have to meet. You have a number per second that you have to meet. So you'll have to get like 41 of this shape in per second, which is a lot. <laughs> All right. So that's cruising along. We are good to go. Let's take a look at some of these now. See, for our uh, belt upgrader, we want bottom halves. So once this is done, I don't think we're going to need top halves anymore. So I'm going to rejigger these guys to get bottom halves. And that will probably mean just reversing these, having one on top, three on bottom, one, and then three. So let's go ahead and do this, just because we're going to want a lot of those. So let, yeah, we can just do it now. see okay excellent now we can have tunnels okay i'm going to turn all this off first boom boom okay now these are all bottom half shapes and we're just gonna make the simple balancer now we should have a bunch of bottoms going in, right? Yeah, there's still some top halves going in, but that's okay. But all that's being produced right now are bottom halves. 
So that's just pulling from three circle spaces. And it's a pretty solid belt. So that's looking good. So now you can see that's going to start clicking these up. Once we get 500 of those in, we can upgrade to the next speed of belts. Now, why don't we also get this going for extraction? There's more circles over here. Uh, this is handy, not really. Okay, um, so we're getting all these guys in. Now, the only one we want is the top right. So to do this, we're going to give that a one, two, three, and give this a one. One, one, two, three. And then, guess what we're going to do? We're going to cut these. Uh, we'll do that, that. Mm hmm, we can't do that. Let's do up one. There. This is going up there. This is going down here and here. Now this should be all quarters. And only the top ones are the ones we want. So again, we could just trash these, but hey, come on. We've got the technology. Give them a half rote or a quarter rote. And look at that. <laughs> this is gonna be ugly. You ready? Boom, boom, skadoosh. There we go. I think I'm gonna bring them in there. Okay, so that, oh, and that's actually the shape we need to make now anyway. So look at that, sometimes things line up. So once we get 270 of these in, which should be fairly quickly here, we are going to be able to do painting. So these first levels are pretty easy. And that is also counting up here. So we're getting there, all good. We can upgrade our cutting, stacking, and rotating. Oh, and look at this. That plus this, which we're already feeding in. Guys, it's all coming together just beautifully. Oh, and look at this. Okay, so we can rework this which lets. So we have these guys coming out, which are good. These guys, we need to give a double root. All right. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Oops. Done. Now we're getting twice as many from the same source. We're getting twice as many of that shape that we want and need. So we can also increase this. Oops, here, let's do that. And again, this is, you know, not optimal by any means, but just feeding more circles. I want, I don't want to see spaces. That's what I don't want to see. So I'm going to clear all this out. Oh my goodness. We've got painters. There is a colorblind mode. Good to know if you need it. So we will get into some painting. All right, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Add one in there. Oops, not there. Here and here and here. All right, now we've got a solid stream of squares coming in. Uh, when you're zooming around here, by the way, you can see how fast we're going. If I hold shift key down, it speeds up. Okay. Excellent. And this, we're going to put another one out here. I just do that. Excellent. Okay. 
don't need them all to exactly line up, especially in these early ones. So what's funny too is like right now we're building all around here. Eventually, you know, we're building huge things out over here. Um, and so you'll just come in and completely scrap all of this out. So all is going well. We can upgrade our belts. I'm going to hold off on that until we can also upgrade our extraction and maybe uh, this too. It's it's a good idea to if you wrote if you upgrade everything all at once, then your ratios are going to be be similar. Okay, so next to unlock the counterclockwise rotating, which we do not want to use until 14. I just have to remember that. I have to keep saying it because I have to remind me. I am Gramps after all, remember. Okay, all we need is a red circle. Very easy. But let's not do it right here. Let's build it out and we'll bring them in here because I think we've got some goodies over here. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna build this. And again, this is one of the things I love about this game, these types of games. You know, similar to Satisfactory, Factorio. I love Factorio. I love Satisfactory. Um, you know, Buildermint, all these types of games. You can build it any way you want. And it doesn't always have to be the optimum, precise way. You just got to get the job done. All right. So what we're going to do is this. This is the way I normally build these. And I'm sure I saw this somewhere but this is the way it is in my brain. So here's a painter module. What you have to do is you wanna feed the color in this side and the shape in here, and then it comes out here. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and give them space. I'm also gonna have this, boom, and boom. Okay, so give them a space of three in between. So one, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're gonna do nine. Now these guys I'm gonna do in the middle between them and up and to the left, middle, up, left, all the way down. So it takes some time to build these. You start getting better at it. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I say as I completely chunk it. Hilarious. I crack myself up sometimes, guys. I mean, come on. So you get better at it. Um, but eventually it doesn't matter because eventually you've got blueprints. And with blueprints, you can just copy paste. Now here's an easy one. Uh, we can do this. We can just drag it over. Okay, and then for this guy, I'm using our tunnels. This is the first time we're using tunnels uh, to go from here. And this I'm just using the normal mouse. Uh, you know, I'm hitting A. Okay. And we're going to feed color in there. So the color is going to come in, hit the splitter, and come down here and go in. Shapes are going to come in here, hit the splitter, and come in. See, nice and easy. Now, for for right now, we need to also merge these. So every other one, I'm doing that, all right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then the last one, uh, we'll just feed in. So coming back here, all right. So this is when using the shift key is very handy. Oops. So the right one and then the left one and then loop them in. And loop it in and then this one, I'm just looping in. This one, oops. Okay. <sighs> Okay, I will tell you about that. So uh, we are good to go with that. Now we just need to feed it in. I think I said I was going to feed it in here, but you know what? I'm going to change my mind. 
instead feed it in there. Boom. All right, so those are all going to feed in there. Now, all I need to do is get some color and some shapes. It's like we're Foo Fighters here, the color and the shape. Give yourself five points if you got that. Five buck, five points and a Dave Grohl pat on the back. Okay, colors are going in. And now let's get some shapes in. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll do two up here. Okay, zip zap zooey. Got that going in. Oh, did I? I may have spaced him incorrectly here. That is very possible. Yep, I did. Okay, just, this is ugly. I don't like. I don't like. Much better. Boing. Now these can just go straight on in. Okay. Well, see, look at that. We already made one. Just one? <laughs> we made one. So it works. So these are feeding in. Now you can see they're feeding in very slowly. So we've got some upgrades. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Consider yourself upgraded. Going a little quicker. I don't know why I did nine. I thought I was going to do 10. I'm going to do one more. So again, um, space three, boink, boink. That, this, and that. There, all good. Okay, then that, and then we can put this one for future use if needed. Okay, there we go. So not a full belt, but enough to cruise along and make a mother proud. Um, another thing you can do is if you see that, you know, maybe these are getting used up and not getting all the way to the end, is that you can bring another group of circles in. I usually bring it in, not the midpoint, but one in front of the midpoint. That seems to work pretty well. But right now, everything looks like it's going pretty well. You know, again, we could add, maybe if we went out 12, but I'm not super worried about it because eventually it's all going to work exactly the way we need it. Let's look at our upgrades. Okay, so we want a light blue, a cyan colored star burst, and a purple circle. So let's see how close we are to, oh, we are going to need paint um, mixing. And wait, is that what we're doing? Ah, now we have our evil rotator that we do not have. All right, color mixing is what's coming next. Okay, so while that's coming in, let me show you what, what I've been doing every once in a while. So this guy here. Let's actually, let's not do that one. Let's do, where's, oh, we don't have any of these coming in yet. Okay, so we need blue half squares to come in. So here's squares, here's blue. We're going to build pretty much the same thing as this, 
but then for the shapes we're going to add in some of the magic that you've already seen. Okay. That. Okie doke. And actually here, we're going to just cut that there. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. That, that, there, and there. And we want the right half. So this, again, in theory, we could be using the other um, thing, but we're going for an achievement. Okay, so we've got all these. Now we can just group these up, get them all coming in on one line. Then down here, we're going to build that same paint thing. So I'm going to speed this up because you've seen me build it. So this is where we are going to build our half blue squares. So one of the things you can do is you can come over here, see this little eye, and this shows you what the shape looks like. If there's multi layers, it'll break it out in the layers. And you can copy the key like I just did. Now, I'm hitting the right mouse button. You can also hit M to generate a marker. Oops. <laughs> so just paste that in once, and now that creates a little thing. Now, if you look up over here in the upper right corner, that creates a little go-to. Uh, I can't actually click it right now because my um, <laughs> my recording thing is in the way that you can't see. But if you just click that, it'll bring you right to here. Okay? So that's what that is. I should also note that you don't have to go and build everything all out ahead of time like I'm doing. But, you know, I just like it. I like to do it that way for some reason. Don't ask me. Ask my mom. She would probably have more insight into that than I would. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring this back and around this way. And in there. This I'm going to bring over and in. That's why I put the little space there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because we don't really need it. Boink, boink. Okay. Okay, so those half squares are going to be start rolling in. And that's going to help us speed up the mixing and painting as well, once we get 600 of those. Uh, where is our... Oh, okay. It would help if we actually extracted this color. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why it was taking so long. So there we go. This is the basics of it. And I don't want to make these super long. I'm going to keep them around 30 to 40 minutes. And we're going to just keep chugging on through. So please come back. And like I said, uh, if you're enjoying this, subscribe. Uh, once we get to Shapes 2, it's a whole, uh, I mean, just so such cool stuff there. But this is showing you the basics of it. And a lot of these things, like the color mixing and, and painting and all that stuff, that's going to be part of Shapes 2 as well. It's not yet in the demo. You can get the Shapes 2 demo for free. I highly recommend it. Uh, and like I said, you can play shapes.io shapes uh, for free. So I recommend that as well. 
I also recommend just buying the darn thing. It's only a couple bucks, and you're going to support a great developer who's doing a great job making very simplistic but fun games. But even though I say it's simplistic, eventually it gets it gets a little crazy. Um, do we still need red circles? We do not. So what we could do is once we get color mixing, is we could take all this, take this red, and then take either some of the blue, take just take blue from one of these others, mix it, and feed purple in here. And then we will be getting these purple circles. So that's what we will do next time, because we will be unlocking this. It's counting up to 480. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you're enjoying this. Uh, I know I am. It's a great game. A lot of fun to play. Again, even though I was just playing Shapes 2, this one is a blast. So have fun. Ask questions if you have any questions. If you have any ideas, if you saw where I completely borked something up, please let me know. And uh, have fun. This is Gramps, signing off. <laughs>